Hello, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. Today I'm going to talk about Mobirize again. There have been many uh, comments and uh, messages that I have received. Uh, it looks like some of the uh, subscribers are having problem to understand how the publishing part of uh, Mobirize actually works. So this is a very short tutorial and I'm going to show you how to publish and upload your files to your server. Now here you can see some of the comments um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to publish it on my server. This is the actual domain I'm going to use. By the way, don't forget to share and like my videos. The more you share and like it, the more videos I can do. Now, the first thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to open Mobirize. And now I'm going to uh, double click it. All right, now he wants my email here. Just a second. Oops. Okay, uh, okay. so uh, what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm not going to be actually build the actual website, so I'm going to use the standard that comes with it. This is the actual one uh, that's been uh, created already. Uh, this is the latest version of Mobirize. There are more blocks here, as you can see. It's a quite good one, you know, it's a quite good uh, builder. I'm going to the extensions. Also, there are new blocks here, as you can see, the block path, Mobilize 3. The uh, drop-down menu, you need to uh, enable Twitter feeds if you want to. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, add all of them. As I just downloaded this version. It's cookie alert. Google Analytics and it looks like all of them are being enabled of course I haven't bought this ones yet yet but anyway let's go back to the page I'm going to click on this one here and as you can see now we got more you got the SoundCloud you got the uh, somewhere you got the Twitter feed the Facebook and that's it, really. There's a couple of things I don't see, actually. It's a new price tag, these new price tables. But it looks like this is on the old one. Um, yeah, I think that's what it is. If I go to the site and I create a new one, I think that's the old template. If I go to Mobirize and press OK, now I think we got the new ones here. Yeah, let's build a fast... Uh, website there we go of course that's you know, makes sense what I'm doing, but uh, that's not the actual tutorial. The tutorial is 
on how to publish. Okay, let's see that this is your uh, website and you're happy with it. So what you're going to do, the only way to publish it, if I click on publish, as you can see here, now I can actually publish on a local folder and this is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to browse. Then I'm going to click on my desktop or whatever you want to, uh, you know, upload your files to or, or save your files or publish your fi files. Now I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it mobilize. Then I'm going to double click it. I'm going to press select folder and I'm going to publish it. It shouldn't take long. Once that has been done, uh, the actual, it will ask you to open the, the, the actual website now through the Firefox. In this case, that's what I'm using and I'm pressing OK. But this is not what you want to do. Logically, you want to do it via the domain. So what happens now, the first option is to open the actual folder with your you know, with all your uh, files and assets, open FileZilla. Now, if I go back here and here again, you can see one of the comments. Uh, this subscriber asked what FileZilla is. Uh, yeah, here it says, what is FileZilla? So a FileZilla, as I said, is an FTP client and it needed to upload your file to your server. Now I'm already connect to my server you put your host your username and the password and i'm here to the correct uh, folder and i'm going to upload my files there we go now while this is uploading i'm going back to my browser this is what it looks like before the upload of the uh, of the files once everything has been uploaded uh, let's see, let's go back here. It looks like everything has been uploaded. So let's go back. No, that's the wrong one. There we go. I'm going to refresh and my website should come up as you can see here. Now, this is the first way of doing it. Then there is another way of doing it. Let me minimize this minimize this I'm going to refresh that here we go so now the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to remove my files press yes if I go back to the browser and I'm going to refresh as you can see I have removed so I'm restarting from fresh okay now the next way of doing it if I go to mobilize and I press publish is to directly to the FTP. All right. Now I'm going to edit. Now this is what I have here because I already done it. I'm going to create a new server. And the host is going to be my IP of the host. In this case, 192.168.1. And I need to check that out because I don't remember. Where are we? Blah, 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 blah. FileZilla is 69, mine. So let's go back here. 169. And I'm going to put my username and password. And I'm going to press, and I'm going to uh, press close. So that's the way you do it. And then the press OK. And here, if I refresh that, as you can see, it's been done. So if I go back to my browser and refresh, there we go, we got the website. Now, there's a third option. Uh, let's see here on Mobilize. 
is to publish to your Google Drive. And you have your Google Drive here, you need to set, uh, you know, set up and you insert the actual folder where you want to put all the files in. But this is the most important part of it, is the local one, that's what mostly I use it, and the FTP server. Uh, to make it easy for you, just use a local drive. But, but that's up to you, that's your own, you know, your own choice. Thanks again for watching my uh, tutorials, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to share and like my videos. The more you share and like it, the more videos I can do. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.